issues that I've talked about can, can be seen through the body's eyes. Mm -hmm. And they, they all involve constructs. They, they're just different shifts in the construct. But there, there comes a point in the mind where, where the entire cosmos is, is, it's very. The mind is aware that that that, that is a construct. It's seen as a construct, and therefore, it's the, the duality ends between me, a little person, and a city, and a country, and a world, and a solar system, and a cosmos. Their perception always requires a perceiver and something that is perceived. And there is a state in which this is no longer the case. That perception is literally laid, laid aside. It no longer serves. It no longer has value. Someone may say, but I like the world. I like what these eyes perceive and so forth. You know, it really comes down to peace of mind and really honestly looking at one's life and one's emotions, one's fluctuating emotions and heartaches and, and um, whatever the form it may take, loneliness, isolation, just this insatiable restlessness, you know. I guess the question is, above all else, what do I want? Mm -hmm. Yes. Kind of like, what's it going to be? And if I think I, above all else, what I want is what I see in the world with these eyes, then I'll probably keep going with that until I get to a point where that doesn't doesn't do it for me. It's not enough. I'm tired of trying to find something there that isn't. And I come around to, above all else, I want peace now. Mm -hmm. How do I go about that? Yes, there's an openness in the mind. the mind that seemed to be so determined to, to make something of itself, make something more of itself, so determined to hang on to individual, unique individ individuality, separateness, um, there's a crack or an opening saying there has to be something beyond all of this. For me, that opening was there when I felt like I was really in a pit in my life. I think just out of a, a feeling of uh, desperation, there was a willingness to open up to something else. 